Selamat malam semua. In America, we'll be talking about Indonesian school system and like educational level and such. Uh, so first off, uh, in Indonesia, there is kindergarten or taman kanak-kanak. Also, there is elementary school, SD. There is SMP, middle school, sekolah menengah pertama, and SMA, which is high school, sekolah menengah atas. In Indonesia, the division of grade level is a little different too. So you have a uh, kindergarten, right? A year or two years, I don't know. Uh, I forgot actually. And then elementary has six years, like in the States. But middle school, now that's just a bit different. Middle school or SMP is actually three years, grade seven, eight, nine. And then high school or SMI is another three years. That's 10, 11, 12. So they go six, three, three instead of the 624 like we have here in the states and what's interesting is every time you go to a different school that is from um, elementary school to a middle school then middle school to high school you have to take an exit exam i know in the states you can you only take exit exam in high school right to actually graduate from the educational uh, system but in indonesia each time you move you have to take it so you will take one at sixth grade at ninth grade and at twelfth grade, you have to. There, these things is uh, it's not like a. There's a certain range or a certain points that you acquire once you take it, that tells you that you pass that you can move on. But also, what's most important is for people is to get a very very high score, like the highest score that they can get, so that they can apply to the school that they wanted to, because in Indonesia. To even go to middle school, you have to apply to that school. You submitted your name and your grade, your exit exam grade, and see if the school will accept it or not. Okay, like I think when I was in Indonesia, I forgot what I got. I think I got like a 46 or 49.5 or something like that in my sixth grade exit exam. And then I can apply to the school that I wanted to. Let's say this school only accept 47 to 49 uh, grade. Then if I get a 46, they probably won't you know accept me then i have to go to another school so it goes on like that and i think it's over there are encouraged to do as best as they can at a very young age because later on in college if you want to go to like ue or university of indonesia which is the indonesian national university kind of like the i don't know how to say maybe like the harvard and yale of united states just the very very top-notch schools you have to have a very high grade of that exit exam, okay? So that's a couple things that are different than in... Okay, so this is what an elementary student would wear like. So you got the hat. Oh, right? You see the red, I mean the red and the white, like the flag. And then you get this little uh, tie. It's really just like that kind of tie and you would think you know great one two six they're kind of like little kids and you have this dress this white shirt but this length because you know in indo imagine the climate and then if a girl you of course i don't know if you can see it right there maybe you can see it if a girl you would wear a skirt of course right you'd wear a skirt and boys would wear shorts okay boys would wear short because things again of the climate so and, and they're little kids so they'll play around so shorts will be more convenient with them but this is exactly what they would hair should be like tied nicely i mean i mean you can pretty much have it any way you like but my mom usually does this to me back then when i was a kid and you notice here right here on your pocket you can see it says there sd or sd which is what elementary school is about as they actually stands for Sekola Dasa like basic school makes sense and usually I forgot on your left or on your right you would have like one of these label thingy it's just white but it would say the name of your school so let's say you went to Jakarta Jakarta Sekola Dasa oh no it, it will be called Sekola Dasa Jakarta SD Jakarta Satu dua or something like that and then it will tell you what it is and you would know where they go to school by what's on this side okay so this is an elementary uniform and it will be the same throughout all indonesia okay no matter what city you're in whatever what island you're in whether you're in the west side or the left side of indonesia it'll be like this 
And let me show you what other uh, colleges, I mean, other, other schools would look Hello again. Now, this is what uh, middle school or SMP would look like. I guess I have to stand like this. Notice the color change. The pretty much everything is the same. You have the dark blue and the white hat. The blue tie, the white shirt is still the same. Your skirt, if you remember, it was red, but now it's blue. I don't know if I can show it right there. It's not long though. It's actually supposed to come like like right there, to come out like like around your knee. But this is just we bought a wrong one. <laughs> and then of course you would have remember the um, like if you can see ah uh, right there yeah right there. And it's yellow background, and it would says Osis. And Osis is really like an uh, abbreviation of student government because from then on, then they start having clubs and student government, and then you know, extra curricular activities where they form the groups, just besides ac uh, academic, kind of like that. So that's like student government, Association of Student Government, ASG, I guess just a generic form and OSIS is what it is called in Indonesia again you would have the name of the school on the same side but I love this color blue it's, I think it's one of the nicest one the, blue. the red is kind of like too out there but this is what middle school students in Indonesia will look like and doesn't matter whether it's a private or public schools you would have one of this uniform if you're in this grade level so just by looking at the students like on the street you would know what level she's in you just don't know whether she's the exact grade, but you would know if she's in whether she's in middle school or elementary school or like high school. I'm gonna show you one more time what's a high school look like, a high school uniform. Okay, last but not least is the high school guys and notice it's gray. <laughs> it's gray now, maybe because they study harder, they have to pay attention more because they have to go to college. So the color is gray and white. And then you notice the tie. The tie is no longer like what the um, elementary school is. You want the one with the rubber. The starting from SMP or middle school, you actually have like a tie tie, like men's tie, men's neck tie. So you have to just put it on yourself, kind of deal. The skirt, of course, is gray. And you notice here, the osis is still there because you still have clubs and such in high school. But the color changes. Remember, it was a uh, was yellow earlier. Where you go? Yellow earlier, but then it gets uh, dark brown. Still have the school's name in there. All right. So, do you wear these clothes, this uniform-like stuff, every day? Well, no. Okay, no. Because on Monday usually they would wear white, white. So white here and white down here. The tie will be the same, whatever your grade is, and then your hat. But the skirt will be white. The reason why they want to do all white is because they usually have the flag raising ceremony. I talked about that um, last week on Monday in every school in Indonesia, public, private, whatever you are, you would do the flag raising ceremony on Monday. That's why everybody wear all white. So like in school, you would see just rows of white because everybody wears white and they do the flag ceremony. Okay, which you can see on August 17, if you live in the United States and the Consulate General or in the Indonesian Embassy, if you live on the East Coast, they have them in Washington, D.C. Okay, and usually some schools would adopt uh, like a batik day, so they would wear a batik to school. So let's say the school would have a batik day on Thursday, like when I went to school. So they would, every, every Thursday they would wear batik. Of course, it's a batik that is made by the school, so the school picked the batik color, the design and everything, and we just have to wear that. Also on Saturday, Saturday? People go to school on Saturday in Indonesia? Yes, they do. But I heard lately a lot of schools are considering Saturday to be a non-school day, so they're shutting schools on Saturday, but they start having five days of school, five days out of the week to go to school. But before it was like six days in regular public school. So I go to school on Saturday and they would usually wear, or either Saturday or Friday, okay, depending on the school, they would wear the Pramuka, Pramuka uniform. Pramuka is really the Boys and Girl Scouts of Indonesia and the color is brown. So it's light brown here and darker brown here, and with all the agenda, the accessories. I mean, we don't. I don't have that uniform just yet, but if I do get it, I will definitely make a video about it. Okay, so I encourage all of you that watch this to spend, if you are within the school age, 
to spend a year of school in Indonesia and you get to wear these cool outfits, whatever fit you're in.